Hello everyone, Nick here with Foreclosure Finder. Back again today here in central Rhode Island. Another one of my office REO listings. A nice one today, lots of land out here in central Rhode Island. Got a quick look at the, uh, the garage. I'm not gonna go in the garage, it's pretty toast in there. This thing's gonna pretty much need a uh, full, full updating. This home is uh, currently under contract. Uh, but it is going to need quite a bit. The biggest draw to this home is the acreage and the fact that it is four bedrooms. Again, just walking around the outside, just looking to see what we need here. Obviously some concrete, some deferred maintenance, as is usually always the case with these types of properties. Nice little turnaround in the driveway here. And we'll take a little back. I believe this one's on almost four acres. So it goes back out into the woods. More outbuildings. Looks like they had maybe some uh, dogs or some chickens in there. Nice little, nice little uh, homestead. But seen better days. And now my office has it on the market. Obviously, grass is overgrown. We'll have to get the preservation team back out here. This is another reason why I always wear long pants to properties. Okay, I'm just doing another walk around the outside. I mean, siding's in pretty decent shape. Roof's gonna need some work. Got some issues going down with the foundation there a little bit. A lot of these, again, tend to be deferred maintenance. They don't have the money to make the mortgage payment. They don't have the money to maintain the property. Again, just walking around. As you can see, this place is a little bit of a mess. Kind of an odd, an odd spot with it kind of uh, sideways here. So we'll loop back up again. Not too much going on, on the outside, pretty standard stuff. We'll see what's going on, on the inside. Biggest thing I can see here other than, you know, general landscaping and lawn, it's gonna need maybe some uh, concrete work on the foundation. And then probably need a new roof as well. I think the investor coming in here is basically renovating this entire property. So here we go, we'll start in the kitchen. Again, just Dated styling, dated styling, not too much going on in here. Out of the ordinary, good sized kitchen, a little bit of a neat in area. Got a bedroom. Bedroom off the kitchen here. Move back around in, coming through. Go to the right, see we have our bathroom. I do not believe the power is on at this property, correct? So you have to bear with the uh, bear with me here. But then again, you know, as you can see, they had a little something going on down there, just going with the spray foam as the fix. It's the homeowner special, same thing in, in the tub. I mean, this bathroom's a full gut. Nothing really salvageable in here. Go over into the second bedroom. Now, this is the stuff that always kills me, the flooring going just the wrong way or opposite ways. Obviously, you know, something happened here where they had to replace it, but I always find that a bit curious. Living room. As you can see, place does need some work. The radiator just coming right off the, uh, right off the bolt there. And it's mostly going to need full uh, full updating throughout. You can see a little bit of the design here. We're looking right into the basement through the air vent. Of course, right in front of the what is supposed to be the front door. We'll go upstairs a little tight. This is a Cape style home and it's about 25 degrees hotter up here than it was down there. Uh, the one thing that's nice about this house is that the bedrooms up here for a Cape are actually functional. Um, I'm about six feet and you know my head is now just hitting the hitting it there same thing here just another you know this is a true true bedroom up here you can actually utilize this and as you can see we got some issues here and there but that's all going to be fixed by the uh the investor purchasing the property the i do actually like the paneling on the ceilings and the walls because it's the real wood it's like the cedar uh the cedar there go 
ahead and down, go back down. And then we'll just loop down into the basement. It's always my favorite part of these walkthroughs. This basement's actually not that bad. Relatively speaking, of course. And again, we saw that there was a decent amount of, yeah, so you can see this is where a lot of the issues are coming in. Um, they definitely had water down here at some point. It's from the peeled up, from the peeled up tiles. I mean, you can see the flaking all along the walls here. This property's obviously seen better days. It is a private septic and a private well. Uh, do not know the status. They're purchasing as is, it's being sold as is. Furnace probably seen better days. I'm not sure how good the light is down here, but uh, decent sized basement. I mean, at one point this was a finished area. Um, you can just see the, you know, the framing. Some of the drywall here. So something was going, something went on down here. Same thing, just peeking in there. I don't think you can really see, but. I mean, the home definitely has some potential. It's located on a, I don't want to say a busier road, but it's a more, a more rain road, main roadway in, this, in the town we're in. And then we're back into the kitchen. So not too bad, again. It's gonna need its fair share of work, but most of it does appear to be cosmetic other than the concrete foundation work that we would be doing uh, outside. One last trip around the outside. Again, just some outbuildings, lots of land. You hear some of the road noise. You can see the street right down there, but again, pretty secluded, lots of trees. All right, and that's another one. Nick signing off for a foreclosure finder. Till next time.